Sue here. Yes, it's been a while, but you know, it's that busy time of our life. Excuse me, I should have combed my hair. <laughs> yeah, like I care about that. I wouldn't do my videos if I cared how I look for crying out loud. Um, I think at one time I used to actually put a little effort into it. No, actually what happened was I almost always, that's my little monkey over there. Derek is his name. Did you hear him whistling? Okay, so you know how we do housekeeping? Okay, so let's get that out of the way. <laughs> look around you. Does it look like I do housekeeping? I do uh, as little as possible. That was coffee with mudslide, so that's the first thing out of the way. And uh, this is like a, oh, it's a 932 Royal Danish. That's exactly what it is. I know exactly what this one is. It, um, love this thing. <coughs> That's not it. I'm sorry. All these noises in the background. I have one of those little fingerlings. And I have like a lot of them, but it's kind of in my little closet uh, toy. <laughs> I carry it around with me and I entertain little kids with it and stuff. But more than that, um, I have a dragon. A little purple dragon and my dog absolutely loves it and I think on Instagram I did a video of him playing with it in the uh, all seasons room where uh, <laughs> like I said it's pretty fun anyway so if you hear things like that it's just a little thing going off and I'll turn him off his name is Derek Derek my monkey boy hi Derek <laughs> turn him off anyway he um, He's just always fun. He smokes a pipe, too. So, um, in this pipe is... Oh, I was a nice... Uh, gosh, everything's just a big exp explosion of surprises today. This pipe's just about empty. I opened up some... I, uh, I've always liked Aaron more. It's just kind of that... You know, I'm a 965 person, so I like a blend of tobaccos and stuff. But this is like one end and the other end. And I can smoke it all day, so that's kind of why I like it. I like the flake better, but uh, anyway, I like the mixture. And it's an old, old tin. And I don't even know how old it is. Um, but anyway, I opened it up. Now, uh, there's no, there was no dings on it. No pits on it, nothing. Opened it up. It gave me that vacuum like it's supposed to. Touch it, hear how dry. Well, it is very dry. I looked all the way around the edges though and there is no mold, no rust, no pits, nothing. It, it did just like it's supposed to, except it did dry out. And you know, here, right off the bat, you've got a, a moisture-absorbing, you know, little thing in there anyway. Um, and to me, this is perfect. Now, I know other people, when you dig down in there, you can feel a little bit of the moisture. It doesn't just crumble. It still retains its flakes. I don't know if you can see that it's still keeping in a flake. As long as it's not turned to complete uh, crumble, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it because I like a dry smoke. I smoke to get a quick light, to get a... A hit of tobacco to get that flavor full real fast into my mouth and to start my day but I am a nicotine queen so uh, that's normal so anyway that was a nice surprise to open it and it'd be good now a lot of people would take this and go ahead and and start humidifying it I will uh, put some in a jar keep you know five to ten bowls out for myself and uh, then the next owner of it can decide if they want to hydrate it or if they want to smoke it dry. It still has a lot of flavor. I'm happy with it, but some people will just prefer it hydrated. And if they prefer it hydrated and I send some to somebody, you know, if they let me know, because I always let everybody know before I do it. Um, I got those little button things. Also, I have little pieces of clay. I think I've told you guys the story of the clay. Anyway, so this is done. And that's why I smoked early on. And, but I was also smoking a pipe of 965, because you know, it's already after nine, so my day started. You know the housekeeping thing where we all talk about what we're, how, the housekeeping thing? Well, um, I'll get back to that subject in a minute. This is some um, 10 to midnight that I opened up right around New Year's, I think. I put it up, uh, it was so 
dry, uh, wet, moist, wonderful moist, and I think it's like four or five years old, that I had to let some of it dry out, and so I did, but I put the rest of it into one of the little jars that's going out to the friends. And um, so what's dry is in here. And um, and that's what I've been smoking in another little pipe, a little Paul's pipe. And uh, and because it's got such a strong flavor, a lot of Latakia, a lot of that, I like it in a smaller pipe because um, I can put it down. And I don't have to worry about relighting a bowl of, of um, you know, you smoke through the whole little bowl in one of these little pipes. You know, uh, your seven minute a cigarette break kind of thing finishes the little pipe where I need 20 minutes to 30 minutes all day sometimes for a big pipe. Off subject. I don't think I had a subject. Actually, um, anyway, I don't know if you can tell by the edge of it or anything, but this is one of those great big cans that only had 1.5 ounces in it, which means it only had this little crumble cake, I mean a little cake, like <laughs> this kind of much into this jar into this big tin. And so it, um, I can't remember what year they started doing that where you couldn't get it anymore in the, the larger quantities uh, in the tins. But if people know that kind of thing, that kind of helps date when this tin comes from. It's one of Russ's blends, you know, and I think that's how I started here. I started different things because, you know, you'd be on different sites and somebody would suggest something. And I think, wasn't Russ's blend part of pipes and cigars for a while? Anyway, um, Hearth and Home, isn't that Pipes and Cigar? I liked it. And in one of the other pipes that's sitting around here, I have a, um, <laughs> I have like 12 pipes sitting around. Which one do you want? I have some, um, of course, 965, that's over there in a, a big old Dunhill because I've been smoking on it all day. And then I have one of my little Stanwells, and it has uh, some, um, Oh, gosh. I think it's a Suji blend, you know? Very flavorful. It's a, a an aromatic compared to what the others are, so uh, it's kind of nice. Now, this is a, a heavy aromatic. Heavy brandy port, or whatever you want to call it. Heavy on the Latakia. Heavy on everything, but sometimes you just like heavy, you know? Thank God, because I'd never... <laughs> I'd never be anywhere if people didn't like heavy. <laughs> um, so, back to housekeeping. Okay, so, well, let's talk about housekeeping. Oh, on my other pipe, I don't know. Did you see that there was a boo-boo on it? Well, it's not a boo-boo. I couldn't find, uh, this morning, I couldn't find any of my little rubber tips. And years ago, I learned to make do with whatever you had. So, uh, and I've done this many times, so I knew it would work. This is actually a Band-Aid but it, it's just a, a slice of it. And I use the side that has the padding, I use that against the stem so that really there's not much adhesive at all. You can actually slide this. There's not adhesive at all uh, touching the stem. Now, I don't care, truthfully, about bite marks on a pipe. If a pipe isn't loved, then it doesn't have pipe marks. So um, pipe marks don't bother me. I do uh, use a tip for the most, you know, common reason, and that is, um, I've been smoking a long time. I'm old. I have old teeth, and the edges of them are very, very sharp and thin. So, uh, in order to maintain my teeth, I don't want to have a, uh, you have to excuse me, I'm reloading the, the, uh, Royal Danish or Danish Royal, whatever. I'm, this, this pipe I was going to show you housekeeping. Oh, gosh, it's going to go on for hours, and you're never going to get back to what I started on. And I don't remember what I started on. Mama bear, papa bear, baby bear thing. How I load, you know. All right, so... Got that puppy started again. This pipe I bought really, look at the green. I really did buy this because of uh, imagination. Mine. <laughs> it's a 932. Okay, so 
if you use your imagination and you think the guy's like looking up and this is his hair and his nose and his uh, beard and you know like this in his lip area it's like he's blowing a cloud of smoke and then on this side it forms that perfect cloud of smoke so this is one of those pipes that I really just bought because of my imagination um, it was all you know uh, fine as far as the fit of the of the tendon the drilling was good everything was good on it there was no reason it was a bigger than I normally would get pipe except if you will notice the bottom of these are very very narrow so you know that place in my hand that I wanted to set into because even though it's got this big bowl that bottom being so narrow sits right there where I want my pipe to sit when I hold my pipe usually it's it's like say in my mouth and I'm talking at the same time I'm smoking so I can't ever keep a pipe lit when I'm doing that I know there are people that can and I know that there's people that uh, you know can make a pipe last for hours and stuff and never have to relight it and stuff but you know you do what you do it's not it's your pipe it's your your habit <laughs> your horrible habit um, so you know you should be able to have a little control over what you do so I don't really pay any attention to people when they tell me uh, I'm loading it wrong or I'm smoking it wrong after as many years as I've been smoking <laughs> The newbies are so cute. So, housekeeping. What do you hear in the background? Well, the noise that you're hearing is the washer and the dryer. Because I have an intercom system to the, to the laundry room. Because I am so lazy that I don't even want to time it. What I do is I just turn on my microphone down there. And when it goes into the spin cycle, I can hear it. Or if there's no noise at all, I can hear it. So... We're doing housekeeping I'm as as you know, hey, have you ever watched a video and noticed things behind the person that you're talking to and you're wondering, you know, about those things? So what I would love to have everyone do, just for the fun of it, is tell us what we're looking at. I could do that as a Do we do contests anymore in this thing? I, I don't know if we do giveaways or not. I did my 100, 200, 300, 400 subscription one all at one time. Gave away like um, six pipes, uh, oh, seven. A couple of just uh, average, I um, can't remember what they were. They were pretty purple pipes. And then uh, a whole bunch of Rick Blacks. I gave away five Rick Blacks that year. Plus I gave a couple to some friends and things. I have a thing about when I get a, a if I'm going to do it I'm going to do it big so I don't know if I would ever do a giveaway but I do have those jars that are going to be filled up with un uh, I'd like to say undisciplined tobacco which means I put them in the tin I put them in a tub and I put it up I didn't worry about how I put it in there I didn't uh, some of my um, some of mine are like in plastic bubble wrap and and really secure and stuff like that and then pretty soon I had so much I think I became very nonchalant with it because I thought it would well I'm gonna live forever anyway because I have to live to be at least 186 in order to smoke the current tobacco I'm kidding I don't have that much I I used to but I haven't bought too much so I've been doing very good about not cellaring and at a certain time in all of you guys' lives, you're going to come to a point where you're going to say, yeah, that was a good tin of tobacco, but I, I've got some others that are similar, and uh, I'm not going to buy no more. I don't know when that day's going to be, because right about the time I think I'm not going to like something, something new will come out. Uh, I haven't tasted any of the new Dunhills, you know, because I have enough of the old Dunhills. <laughs> not enough, but I, no one ever has enough. But um, I... I don't want to be disappointed, you know, so I haven't tried uh, any of the, the new uh, Dunhills and stuff. I know they'll be about the same because, I mean, um, what I like, which is the 964, is the kitchen sink of tobaccos anyway, you know. Uh, before you put anything on them, you just, you know, clean off the kitchen table kind of thing and scrape everything into a box and you call it 965 and don't touch it. 
you know, don't put no aromatics on it. Don't do anything but just let it be plain old tobacco leaves. And, and there you go. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so we was talking about what's going on behind you. Well, that's uh, dog uh, dog toys and uh, dog coats and stuff. That's the pinball machine, the South Park pinball machine, you know. And there's a bunch of junk like that. That goes to the basement and the back door, which we just kind of keep like that anyway. Those are some little toys that are going to be going to some people that I know. So I did my housekeeping. <laughs> Actually, um, it, it's really probably more interesting if you were to look down. Because if you look down, you see that you're sitting on my, my sewing machine. There's my little pile of work that's going to be going on. There's my coffee with mudslide. There's my little Derek sitting next to me. There's some tobaccos. There's some pipe. And there's the TV control and the big spool of thread. <laughs> so now I've done my housekeeping. Um... On the uh, pile of clothes over here, what it is, is I got some great big, I mean, I don't know what size they are because they were all custom made. Um, a very nice, nice, nice men's shirts, but I'm going to fold them in half because I probably can't get them into view as big as they are. They're real long and, and they're, like I said, they were made for a very, very tall man. And uh, Kevin likes night shirts. And when I go online or I buy them, they're, they're very expensive to buy uh, a nice sized night shirt. So I saw these and I've already given him two of them and they are more of the blue and, and dark blue and green checks, you know, that look like pajamas. So what I'm doing with them is I'm taking off the sleeves because no one wants a cuff and they're just way too long on the sleeves too. I'm taking them off. I'm taking them in a little bit uh, along the back and along the sides because it's just really too big a shirt. But when you're sleeping in a shirt, you want a bigger shirt. So, um, and um, I spent a, I have spent you know up to gosh I hate to admit what I've spent on on night shirts you know but if if that's what you're comfortable in and at our age if you can't be comfortable then what the hell man. But anyway, I'm still the thrift sue you know that that lives in the real world. So. Um, I got these shirts for four nine nine, and uh, I'll take them in. It'll probably take me an hour because I'll change out some of the button systems and uh, I'll take out the uh, interfacing in this stiff collar so it's not quite so stiff, and then I'll repair where I take that out at. And I'll, I'll probably spend an hour, maybe a little longer on it, um, but still, you know, it it'll fit him exactly the way he wants it fit. And, um, and all it takes is, is my effort, you know, so why not? There is a, a peach colored one. Oh gosh, too much information, right? A peach colored one. And I have some peach, um, leggings. And so I might remake this into a, a set of pajamas for me because it'll be like a long shirt too. Or it could be a cute shirt dress. Uh, how was your Christmas and how was your New Year's? I hope everybody was fine. Um, this is one of the things that one of uh, the girls that I, you know, uh, I have a lot of uh, honor society kids that I work with for all the little things that I do and stuff like that. Anyway, one of the, the girls made me a, a scarf. And then she pointed out about the finger holes. There's a little thing for your thumb to slide in. And then there's finger holes for your fingers so that if you didn't bring your gloves I wonder if it goes the other way anyway if you didn't bring your gloves I bet it does I bet it goes like this there I bet that's how it goes there so if you didn't have bring your gloves and you still had your scarf on you'd basically have built-in gloves so I thought that was really cute, you know. Um, and she showed me how you don't have to keep it on, how you can take it off and wrap it around if you were caught out in the cold with, you know, out your gloves and stuff. So what a thoughtful thing, you know. Not just not just hear this, but, uh, you know, um, I personally would have liked it much wider and um, stuff. And, and uh, I might just uh, change that over a little bit and, and make it a little wider for myself because... Wearing something that someone has made for you or, or a gift that somebody gives you is so much more fun than just 
average. Um, oh, and you guys saw my, my Christmas gift, didn't you, that uh, Kevin got me? He got me a new pipe stand. My spine. Can you see the... Well, I guess I can't do that on this side. Anyway, it's going to be a pipe rack. <laughs> I live a very strange life. I have a lot of body parts, and I use them for uh, putting, the stand, putting the pipes on. And I used to have a great, 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 great big house that uh, absolutely sucked the life out of me for 14 years. I mean, literally. It, it just sucked up every cent, every, every, everything, and it was haunted, so that didn't help, and those ghosts didn't like me, and... Uh, there at the end, they were throwing us down the steps and just all kinds of stuff. Um, but that's what you believe or what you don't believe. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> uh, where were we? Shit. Good morning. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You just spent 22 minutes in the company of the real world of Sue. <laughs> Except it gives, as always, happy, happy, joy, joy. And you know I'm watching you. Yeah. 